Hello gamers and welcome to the show. It's the end user report. In today's show, Japan says peace out to the Xbox 360. We talk at Dan Central 2 and we also give a wish list of songs that we'd like to see in the game. But uh, let's start this off like we often do and, and go into the news and let's just say the Xbox 360 is dead. In Japan that is. Uh, it was announced this week that Japanese retailer, retailers are actually going to start phasing out the Xbox 360 and this is due to poor sales uh, of the unit. Uh, it's been out for about six years now. They've only sold about 1.5 million use, units and even more depressing than that it's already been outsold by the 3DS, which just came out this March. Jamal, what are your thoughts on that? It's a stupid gauging machine. <laughs> I'm not even sure what you mean by that, man. <laughs> um, well, I mean, we talked about it earlier, is the Xbox 360 is more geared towards the first-person shooter market, and uh, as we know in Japan, they like to have a lot of role-playing games. And guys that look like girls and girls well, who wear school uniforms. And yeah, that's that's you know that can be argued back and forth on that one. But yeah, I think um, uh, in Japan, I, I I think Nintendo and Sony are king there, and um, unfortunately for Microsoft, it's a tough um, competitive arena, um, and you need to have titles that will compete. You can have a great console. But a console is one thing, you need to have titles, and, and eventually what happened with Xbox is that they didn't have the competitive titles that, would, that was geared for the Japanese market. That's just my feeling. Yeah, um, I gotta agree with you on that one. Uh, you know, you say Gears of War in Japan. Uh, yeah, you know? but if you say Final Fantasy XIII, uh, probably every Japanese school kid has a, a PS3 with Final Fantasy XIII. True. You know, so. It is pretty sad when you get outsold by the PS2. <laughs> this is the last gen console. Or the, 3, or the 3DS. Yeah, but the I mean, I could see out. that in Japan. Yeah. But if more people are buying the last gen PS2 mm -hmm. than an Xbox 360 and the PS3 is doing fairly decent over there, that's. I mean, you're talking about a country that marries digital girls. Oh, so. uh, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. really had a guy who married this. Sim like character on his 3DS. And why am I not surprised that you know that? Uh, just, <sighs> just something that came up in the <laughs> email of my browsing. <laughs> your brow see, <laughs> makes me question what you're browsing there. Oh, yeah. Tough yeah, guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, man. So. Alright, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, we got to talk later about your yeah, well, habits. definitely. I'll give you all my links. No, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I like real girls. I'm, I'm good at that. What? You don't like 2D girls? They're better than 3D girls. Didn't you know that? <laughs> you know what? Anyway. It's, Moving on. <laughs> it's a big thing in Japan. 2D girls are better than 3D girls. That's why they have a big problem with uh, no one's having sex in Japan. They have a population problem. They have more elderly than they do young people. And the young people aren't having sex with each other. They're not creating any babies. It's a big problem over there. Thank, thank you for your public service This is a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, we got way they're off track have, here. They're going to have more elderly in Japan than they are actually young people. Yeah, that sounds like a personal problem for them. <laughs> it is going to be a big problem for them. <laughs> you know what? If they had the Xbox 360, if they bought more, they wouldn't have that problem. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. I, don't. <laughs> yeah, no. I just... just maybe, it sounded good in my head, but... Maybe if the young people, you know, instead of having stop sex playing with their 3DSs and... Have, stop having sex with 2D characters and have sex with real people... And procreate, yeah. that might solve your problem. It's like we say in America, get out of the basement, folks. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. <laughs> but let's move on. Let's talk Dance Central 2. Okay. Sequel to the best game, hands down, out for Connect right now. 
uh, the focus this time around is on multiplayer. Uh, players can now dance simultaneously, which is going to change the dynamic of the two-player experience. You can team up with a partner and actually dance collaboratively, uh, or go move for move in a dance battle. Players can also swap in and out on the fly. Break it down mode has also uh, been improved. It gives players a little bit better control. You can actually go in into individual moves that you're having issues with as opposed to dancing through the whole routine. And it actually responds to, to voice command. Uh, along with those changes, you're getting three new characters. Um, you're getting Bodhi, Glitch, and Little T. Returning our uh, Angel, Amelia, Mo, Miss Aubrey, and uh, Tay. The game's going to ship with about 40 songs on the disc, plus you'll have the ability to import your tracks from Dance Central 1. Uh, Add-on songs will bring the song count to about 100 total, each having three difficulty settings, so that is going to keep you dancing for a long time. Uh, as far as the concern, uh, confirmed set list, this is what we got so far. Uh, Bananarama Venus. You've probably heard this song. Mm -hmm. I was like those Pantene Pro V commercials. Yeah. Uh, Bob featuring Bruno Mars, Nothing on You. Far East movement, like a G6, or what my son say, like a cheese stick. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me, that's what they think it says. Uh, LaRue Bulletproof. G6, he's talking about the car? Yeah, the car. I think. Pretty sure it's the car. Plane. Uh, oh, plane? Let me show you what I know. Thanks, Dad, bro. Yeah, thanks. That's why we uh, keep you around. Uh, Montel Jordan, this is how we do it. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, Nicki Minaj, Massive Attack. That's the only thing ever did, Montel Jordan. Yeah, something for the honeys really wasn't nothing for anybody. No. Uh, Nicki Minaj, Massive Attack, or we should just say the Little Kim clone. I like Nick Nicki. Little Kim clone. She's, uh, I, I think of her as the Black Lady Gaga. <laughs> You should listen to the Little Kim diss on her. Freaking sweet. Little Kim? Oh, yeah. She uh, disses Nikki? Oh, yeah. You know, you know what? Little Kim, her boobies are like dropping like this. She's not as hot as she used to be. Yeah, but she she's th really but she's 3D, anyway. dude, so I'll, I'll go with that. Uh, yeah. Rihanna, Rude Boy. Nicki Minaj is much better. Wow. Okay. <laughs> You're going to get flamed on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Usher, DJ. Kim? She looks like a welfare mama now. Oops. Ooh, I'm sorry, you two. No, he's not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Usher, DJ got us falling in love. Whatever. Uh, Flow Rider featuring uh, David Galletta. Club Can't Handle Me. And David Galletta featuring Akon, Sexy Chick. Daddy Yankee featuring Fergie. Impacto, Impacto, I should say. Mm -hmm. uh, Darude Sandstorm, Draft Funk. Technologic, I can never say this one right. Ozone, I, Stag Girl, you got me covered on this one? Yes. Uh, Dragostea Dinte. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, Spanish, not, uh, yeah, failed. Spanish? Six years and all I can say is Donde esta tu biblioteca. Mmm. Why? Donde esta el puerto? Yeah, like I said, uh, nothing. Uh, <laughs> Bruno Mars Grenade, can't stand that song. Uh, Donna Summer Hot Stuff, Knowledge Barkley Run, Lena Satellite, Enrico Iglesias, your homeboy. Uh, I like it. Lady Gaga, Born This Way. That's my girl. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Exile, I Wish For You. As far as we know, the game is priced at $49.99 and is due to drop uh, October 25th. Any thoughts? Song list? Um, never played the game. Sounds fun. I see that the uh, at the display center in the uh, Best Buy. Um, as for a song list, uh, anything from the first album from Chemical Brothers? <laughs> um, the Macarena. I think that would be a great little family thing to do. Um, I know it sounds really hokey pokey, but the hokey pokey. Yeah. That's maybe stretching it. That is. But anything yeah. from Daft Punk, I know they have a Daft Punk song in there, but I think almost anything from Daft Punk would go really good with that. Especially Daft Punk's Around the World. It's a great tune, good danceable tune. Um, 
How many is that? That was three, I believe. That was three? Eh, well, you can see how much of Oh, anything from the movie Beat Street? And they should be in, in, this, in the, where, like, you have to have, like, some kind of challenge. And then you bump, you bump chess with the, with the dude that you're challenging. You know? Kind of like a break dance off. And then to really make it official, put, like, cardboard on the floor. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have people breaking their necks and doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Um, but, uh, and of course, any kind of, to, you know, to help out that Japanese audience, maybe anything from GAC. I'm just saying. Hey, it'll get the Japanese audience to buy the Xbox. You think so? Who knows? They, I tell you, they want to sell an Xbox, they just market it with a bunch of Sailor Moon characters You throw characters a Japanese the anime top. song in there, and I'll tell you, that Xbox will be selling like hotcakes in Japan. <laughs> Words from the guru. It. But before I get into my uh, set list, I'm just going to come out and say that I'm almost as excited about this game coming out as I am about Gears of War 3. I think what Harmonix has done here is they've taken some of the things that were lacking in the first game and improved on those. Um, and they've done more than just give us a bunch of new songs with the same game as they kind of did with Rock Band going into uh, Rock Band 2. So what they've actually done is they've they changed the multiplayer around. Now two people are going to be dancing at the same time. Now the dance battle is going to be a little bit different. It's no longer where... You dance a section of the song, and the other person's kind of standing there for, you know, three or four minutes, which I was good for wandering off when it came to that. Go get a beer. I think even in one of my dance battles, I made a sandwich, mm. came back. It's not going to be like that anymore. Every couple of bars, it's going to be switching, so it's going to be your turn. You're going to dance a section together. So I think it's a really interesting dynamic. Um, if you're not into dance battles, you can dance with somebody collaboratively, I think that's a nice touch. Is it because of the limitations of the connect that you can have two people dancing at the same time? No, they are going to have two people dancing okay. at the same time. It's just a feature that really wasn't included, included in the first game. Gotcha. Um, this time around, there's even going to be a section where where you're going to be able to compete for moves on the screen at the same time. So there's going to be like a section of four moves. You're going to have to perform one before the other person does to get credit for it. I think that's really nice. So it, it's made it more like a real dance battle, as you alluded to earlier. Uh, I also like that it supports voice command, so you can kind of skip over some of the moves that you don't want to do in practice mode. So I really like mm. what Harmonix has done with this. I'm going to go into my wish list now, and I'm going to start it off with uh, Rhythm Nation, Janet Jackson. It's an older song. It actually came out in 1989. It was the title track to the Rhythm Nation 1814 album. Great album, by the way. I think it was like seven top five singles on that one. Mm -hmm. um, this kind of had that uh, that great choreography that Janet Jackson had early on in her career. Probably one of the best choreographed videos ever, in my opinion. That's when Janet uh, Jackson had a big, big mama caboose. Yeah, it was like that in Pleasure Principle. Big mama caboose. Well, what happens? I think J Jermaine Dupri messed that up. No, what happened was all those operations. Yeah, that'll do it too. <laughs> Uh, and another song that came out right in the, in the same time frame, uh, Back to Life, However Do You Want Me, soul 1989. Soul. Yeah, Soul my to Soul. Oh, goodness. That's, that's um, going back to my college days. And I know, I know Stat Girl's going to hate me for saying this, uh -huh. but I think Soul to Soul should thank Will Smith on this because she hates everything considered Will Smith. Why? Will Smith is okay. I'll, I'll, don't act, she girl. has her own theory on this, and let's not get into oh, it because it'll be a 45 minute conversation. Yeah, yeah, this is and here's why they should thank Will Smith. If it wasn't for the pilot episode of The Fresh Prince, mm -hmm. I don't think this song would have been as popular as it was. There was that one section where Will's dancing and hanging his posters in the room and stapling them to this song. Mm -hmm. This song is on a lot of iPods because of that scene right there. Going back to rap, retard. <laughs> See what I'm saying? 45 Damn. minute conversation. Damn. Hating on Will Smith. Yeah. Let's not get into it again. Mm. Be here all day. Uh, Party Rock Anthem, LMFAO. I think you kind of got to throw this in there. It's a hot song. It's got a nice beat. It's 
kind of been the song of this summer, at least in New York anyways. Every time I turn on the radio, I hear, every day I'm shuffling. I mean, yeah. Ask your kids about it. I'm sure they know. She put Roxanne, Roxanne in there, too. Roxanne, Roxanne, want to be your man. Man, showing your age right now. That's some, that's some hot stuff right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, teach me how to Dougie, Cali Swag District. Teach me how Again, to Again, another Dougie. kind of... Teach me how to Dougie. Yeah, another newer song. I, I think you really want to add this in there. As popular as this song is, it's almost been like the Macarena of this decade. When they're putting the song in Sobe commercials, mm. it's pretty mainstream by that point. And as far as giving thanks... Give thanks to Dougie Fresh on that one. That's right. Nothing ill to say about Dougie Fresh? No. They're not saying nothing bad about Dougie Fresh. I didn't say anything bad about Dougie Fresh. But to catch Fresh. a case. Wow. <laughs> I'm all getting gangsta. And uh, this one, going back to a little bit of an older song, You Can Do It, Ice Cube. And this was a song featured in two different movie soundtracks, Save the Last Dance and the Next Friday soundtrack. This is a song that qualifies in that section of guys aren't going to want to dance to it, but they're mm. going to want the girlfriends to. Yeah. Put the song on, grab a Heineken, sit back, and just enjoy the show. That's where I'm going with that one. <laughs> okay. But that's our opinion on songs. We want to know what you guys think. Come see Hammer. Yeah, that might work. What you want to know? That's the only thing. Anything MC Hammer. Oh, no, no. No, you can't say anything can't, MC Hammer. You can't do the Adams Family. Yeah. That just... Do what they want to do. Say what they want to do. This is horrible. Either too legit to quit or... No, no. How about just, like, Hammer Time? You mean can't touch this? Yeah, that would work. That would work. I think people would be breaking things. And it would be a harm... It would be... Harmonix would be facing lawsuits. Mm. As long as it's not prey. How are you supposed to dance to that simultaneously with somebody? I don't know. You'd be well, kicking each other in the well, stomach. Well, if you put MC Hammer, then you have to put Vanilla Ice in there, too. Oh, God. What are you ice, trying to ice, do to baby. this game? <laughs> I'm trying to gentrify it. Light up the studio to watch it jump like a candle? <laughs> yeah, Play you... Alright, you guys are going into some B-Rad, Jeezy, Malibu's Most Wanted nonsense, and yeah. I'm going to stop it right now. We want to know what you guys think. Fill in your opinions on our discussion board on the official Facebook page. You'll find a link to it actually on the YouTube page as well. As always, comment, subscribe, follow us on Twitter. That, who does that song, Put a Quarter in Your Ass? Do you just play it yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That should be our dance central. I see all the mamas and the daddies. Last song I'm going okay. to suggest. <laughs> last song I'm going to suggest, Doing It L Cool J. Another old song. Mm. Sit back, watch a girl dance to it. The only thing I have a question about with Dance Central, and it's just a minor thing, is I know that you can choose characters to be. I think they should have it so that you can create your own character. That would be nice. That would make well, the audience feel more connected, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so too. You know, you but I, I think they want it to... Uh, I think they want to concentrate more on the look of the game, the feel of the game. Mm. I think when you start getting into character creation, I think it would create a whole more problems with the development because then you got to create. Mm. What about how you got to teach own, it to accept the moves from Xbox that character? Avatar. Would that work? That would look goofy compared to the other characters. Yeah, that's true. Because the, the Xbox avatars have that kind of cartoonish, goofy. Cartoonish. Thing. Nintendo Wii look to them. They have more like a Sims look to them. You know. Yeah, well, if you want to use your Xbox avatars, get Power Up Heroes. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, that's what you're looking at. I don't. I have no desire to really Maybe see my avatar. Maybe in the avatar. future, they'll have something where it's online com uh, battles. There is online battles in this one. Really? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. See what I'm saying? That's really good. So, Dance Central 2, even though I'm old and I'm fat, I'm still all over it. I'm, I'm going to try not to have a heart attack or break something when I play, though. Yeah, move the furniture around. Because I got the first one, and the first time I played it, I had to take like yeah. two days off after that. Did you really? Yeah, it was, not, it was not good. Yeah. <laughs> I was putting Icy Hot on kneecaps and wrapping things up. Yeah, I think it would have caught a Charlie Horse playing that I'm game. I'm telling you. Well, I'm sure my kids would have loved it. I learned my lesson, out. though. Take some laps, do some squat thrusts before I get ready. <laughs> you know? 
Yeah, Work it out. That's what they wanted to do. So, so all right. But uh, I think that wraps it up. Like we said, comment, subscribe, guys. This is Clarence. I'm Jamal. Peace.